Ricardo Montalban was a talented actor known for his roles in movies and TV shows. He had a unique charm that made his characters memorable. Now, we're curious about your experiences with Ricardo Montalban's work. Do you remember the first movie or show you saw him in? How has Ricardo Montalban influenced you personally? We'd love to hear about your favorite memories or experiences related to this beloved actor. Share your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we have many interesting facts about Ricardo Montalban coming up, including some that are funny, shocking, and even sad. Your stories are important to us, and we can't wait to read them. Ricardo Montalban was a prominent actor known for his roles in both film and television. His filmography includes a variety of genres showcasing his range as an actor. For those new to his work, the following films are essential viewing Mystery Street, a film noir where Montalban plays a detective solving a murder case. Sayonara, a drama about the U.S. military in Japan after World War II, featuring Montalban in a supporting role. The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad, a comedy film where he plays the antagonist. His role as Mr. Rourke in the television series Fantasy Island is also highly recommended. These projects offer a glimpse into Montalban's acting abilities and his contribution to the entertainment industry. In the early 1980s, while playing iconic roles on television, two actors found themselves in an interesting crossover of careers. On one hand, there was a portrayal of a determined police officer in the streets of Los Angeles, and on the other, an enigmatic host inviting guests to a mysterious island. Both series were popular during their time, capturing the attention of audiences with their unique premises. The same period saw one of these actors take on a memorable role in a major science fiction film where he played a formidable adversary whose intelligence and strength challenged the crew of a starship. This character became one of the most notable villains in the franchise's history. Away from the screen, the actor was known for his smooth voice in car commercials, promoting luxury and style. His association with a particular car model, which became a symbol of sophistication, reflected the era's automotive industry shift towards more personalized and luxurious experiences. After a life celebrated for memorable roles and a distinctive voice that marked an era, the actor was laid to rest beside his partner, leaving behind a legacy of diverse characters and performances that span decades. In the world of television, the character Mr. Rourke became a household name guiding guests through their wildest dreams on Fantasy Island. Behind the scenes, however, tensions rose as Hervé Villachay's behavior became problematic, leading to his dismissal and replacement by Christopher Hewitt. In another realm of entertainment, the actor stood out as Khan Noonien Singh, a memorable adversary in both the Star Trek series and its film sequel. His presence extended beyond the screen as he also lent his voice to Chrysler Corporation, becoming a familiar face in their automobile commercials. Ricardo Montalban was an actor who faced various challenges throughout his life, including health issues. Despite a successful career highlighted by roles such as Khan Noonien Singh in Star Trek and Mr. Rourke in Fantasy Island, he experienced significant personal struggles. In his later years, Montalban suffered from spinal issues that resulted in chronic pain and limited mobility. He used a wheelchair after a 1993 operation on his spine. Montalban's experiences with disability and pain influenced his perspective on life and his performances. His determination to continue acting despite his health struggles showed his resilience and dedication to his craft. Montalban also contributed to the community by establishing the Nosotros Foundation, which aimed to help other Hispanic actors gain fair representation in the entertainment industry. In the film Latin Lovers, the character Roberto Santos, portrayed by the actor, did not use his own singing voice, Instead, Carlos Ramirez provided the vocals. During his career, he also took on the role of Armando in Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, a character he had previously played in the film's prequel. Interestingly, he was not the first choice for the role of Roberto Santos. Originally, Fernando Lamas was selected, but due to personal reasons involving Lana Turner, he was replaced by the actor. In the world of television, friendships often cross paths on screen. This was evident in a popular show where a close-knit group, including R.G. Armstrong, Lloyd Bochner, Pat Crowley, and others, shared the stage. Among them was an actor with deep family ties in Hollywood, connected to the Youngs and the Luises. His commitment extended beyond the screen to his community, where he was actively involved with the Good Shepherd Parish and the Catholic Motion Picture Guild in Beverly Hills. His life reflected a blend of personal relationships and professional camaraderie set against the backdrop of a bustling industry. Recognition for his work came with a permanent mark on Hollywood Boulevard, where he received a star on the Walk of Fame. 
His portrayal of Khan in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan required a deep reconnection with the character, a challenge he met by revisiting his earlier performance in Space Seed. Despite the difficulty, he successfully brought back the intensity of Khan. His talent was also acknowledged in the theater world, earning him a nomination for a Tony Award for his role in the musical Jamaica. These milestones reflect his dedication to his craft and his ability to captivate audiences across different mediums. In the romantic drama Latin Lovers, he portrayed Roberto Santos, sharing the screen with Lana Turner, who would later join him again in the film Madam X's role as Rodriguez in the war film Battleground was significant enough to be included in a radio adaptation by Lux Radio Theater, where he and other original cast members brought the movie to the airwaves. His talent extended to the science fiction genre, where he was one of a select group of actors to reprise their roles in the Planet of the Apes series, appearing as Armando in both Escape from the Planet of the Apes and Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, sharing this distinction with a notable ensemble cast. In the challenging world of film, choices must be made, and not all can be showcased. This was the case with a compilation that aimed to capture decades of cinema history. Despite his talent, one actor found himself with limited screen time, alongside others who shared his fate or were left out entirely. Even major films missed the cut, waiting for their moment in a future sequel. But criteria set for the golden era further narrowed the selection, leaving out significant works that came after. On television, this actor took on a role that demanded an unusual physical constraint. He could not blink due to the makeup used for his character. This resulted in uniquely brief shots of him on screen, creating an unusual effect as he moved without the natural action of blinking. His charm and screen presence led to a playful rivalry with a fellow actor, which later inspired a comedic sketch. The sketch playfully questioned who was the more macho between the two, bringing their friendly competition to a wider audience. The sketch became a memorable part of television history, highlighting their personas in a humorous light. He shared the screen with Sid Sherry's in a series of films, showcasing a dynamic partnership that spanned decades and genres. Their collaboration included musicals and dramas, with titles ranging from the festive to the adventurous. In television, his role alongside Madeline Rue in a pivotal episode of a popular science fiction series left a lasting impression, leading to their reunion in one of the franchise's most memorable episodes. His portrayal of Pablo Rodriguez in a film that tackled border issues was a rare opportunity for him to represent his Mexican heritage, a role he highlighted as personally significant in his career.